Oh, okay guys. Hello everyone and assalamualaikum to all of you. And today we gather back to record our let's uh let's that be there to zero to six. Uh, so this week, uh, me, Muhammad Ashraf Bin Azizan, uh, no, no metric, uh, 198987, and my partner, Fakhrul Hakimi, will present uh, about the uh, <laughs> the story about animal, uh, bizarre animal. Alright, so first of all, we would like to introduce ourselves. Okay, I will introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Muhammad Ashraf Bin Azizan, and my metric number is 198987. Next. Hi, my name is Fakhrul Hakimi Bin Malan Rin and my metric number is 19441 and I'm from Australia Communication. Next. Hi, my name is Sofia Naja Binti Shwami. My metric number is 196652. I'm from Faculty of De Design and Architecture. Next. Hi, my name is Suriza Mitiawangno. My metric number is 178532 uh, from Faculty of Education. Hello, guys. <coughs> Hello, guys. My name is Muhammad Sharil Aiman Ben Zamani. My metric number is 198220. And I'm from Faculty of Modern Language and Communication. Uh, next. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Zulik Putri. My metric sum is 186640 and I'm from School of Business and Economics. Next. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Tengku Ira Shakira Betty Teku Nazri. My metric number is 193 I'm from School of Business and Economy. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Uh, my metric number is 87812. I'm from Bachelor Literature Association from Paris. Thank you. Alright, so I think we are done. I think, uh, so Akmal Haka is here and uh, his metric number is 192932. So I think uh, he have having a difficult uh, a technical problem. So, okay. Uh, we will start our presentation. Uh, I will share my screen first. Uh, first story, I want to talk about this one animal that I found bizarre to share to you. Uh, it is called I I. Next, the I I is the largest nocturnal primate. It is native to the island of Madagascar and known for its well morphological feature. Appearing to be half bat, half monkey, and with the continuously growing same as a rodent. These are some of the most unusual creatures on Earth. Each hand has one long finger used to dig deep into trees and find insects and drop that no other predator can reach. They also eat uh, fruit, nuts, nectar, seeds, and fungi. I, I are the only primate thought uh, to use a collocation to find prey. They tap on trees with their long mid middle finger and listen for wood boring inside lava moving under the park. They then employ the same middle finger to fish them out. This method of finding food is called percussive foraging and is also used by woodpeckers because woodpeckers are not native to Madagascar. The AI is able to fill this ecological niche. The AI was uh, on start to be extinct, but amazingly written in 1957. However, uh, they are, are now considered critically and, and dangerous for a number of reasons. For one, some Madagascar natives believe them to be a symbol of death 
and kill them on site. AI are also enemy to crops, so many farmers will do away with the creature to protect their farms. Habitat uh, destruction also impact AI, as those the fact that they are. Uh, they are a source of food and money for many people. I, I can now be found in 16 different protected area in Madagascar and they are effort to understand and breed this unique animal in captivity. Right, uh, next. The exolot is a rare salamander and is considered to be one of the world, uh, most unusual and unique species of salamander. Next. Mm, the Mexican walking fish, as it is commonly referred to, is not actually a fish, it's an amphibian. Exolot can be found in Mexico in freshwater lakes and ponds. What makes uh, this such an unusual amphibian is how it reach adulthood. It uh, does not undergo metamorphosis that typically occur in amphibians. Uh, the as a lot retain the characteristic it developed at the lava stage, keeping it gill and retaining an aquatic life. The azelot measure between 15 to 45 centimeter in length at the adult stage. They will weigh about 0 0.6 to 0 0.1 kilogram, but can reach uh, 0 0.5 kilogram in captivity. They feed generally on smaller species of aquatic life, mostly for focus on teeny fish, mollusks, and arthropods. Their, di their diet can vary to include additional freshwater creatures such as uh, terrestrial worms, salmon eggs, and zooplankton. Thank you. Uh, all right, guys. So I will continue to uh, my animal, uh, busy animal. So my first story is about showbill stock, which is the prehistoric dinosaur looking bird. All right. Mm. Sorry. Wait, uh, my screen is a little bit late. Right. So the first one, the show the show bill, also known as whale head, whale headed stock or the show bill stock. It's, it's a very large stock like bird. Uh, it derives uh, name from its enormous show uh, shoe shaped bill. Shoe, be, shoe bills are abnormally tall with some individuals uh, reaching height uh, of over four feet. Unlike many others, birds who inhabit similar marsh, uh, marsh environments, showbills are highly effective predators. Their long legs are perfect for traversing shallow waters where, where they prey on reptiles, uh, rodents, and fish. They are even known to strike against juvenile crocodiles. Showbills use their powerful beaks to grasp, to grasp and strangle just about anything they, they encounter, but don't worry, they don't prey on humans. Just will stare at you. And number five, uh, you can find one in East Africa where their habitat is concentrated. So that is my first story about uh, shoe bill. So my second story is about lion bird, also uh, a bird. Uh, so, lyrebirds could easily uh, win a talent show for their ability to mimic sounds in their environment. Yes, true, this trait exists in other birds, but uh, lyrebirds take, uh, take things to a whole, a whole new level. 
they can imitate just about any sound, including industrial equipment and power tools. Uh, this bird can found in Australia. The birds are also known for their flamboyant, flamboyant mating display. Mating displays. The males show off their long tail feathers while dancing and using their super vocal abilities to attract mates. Uh, lastly, stick to the rainforest zone of uh, Queensland and New South Wales to find them or head to Tasmania where they were introduced artificially but have seen uh, re repro repropagated and established population. So that's all from our presentation. So uh, do, what do you guys, uh, what comment from, from you guys about the story? Hello, can I go next? Yes, um, firstly, um, I would appreciate it if you guys include more photos about macam when you guys describe your animals, we can't really see the features you are you guys are describing because you only included a picture at the front of the page and then you guys mostly talk about it, describing it without showing any graphic graphic images. So uh, it's very difficult for us to um, kind of imagine what they look like what the uh the what are the bizarre features that you guys pointed out but overall i think i would choose uh ashraf's uh shoe bill because uh the animal is kind of connected or uh, related to a prehistoric animal or dinosaurs so it's very bizarre because no other birds look like them the shoe bills so I think uh, for the documentary video, you can include more photos of the shoe bill to um, uh, elaborate further. I think that's all. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sophia. So how about other guys? Do you agree with Sophia's statement? Sharil Aiman, do you have any comment about the story? Yes, can you hear me? <clears throat> yes, yes. Yes, okay. I think all the animals present by both of you uh, about the II, Zolot, Showbiz Stock, and Liarbird is interesting and bizarre for me. But uh, I think I can choose uh, the your story, Ashraf's story, is about showbiz stock also, uh, like Sofia, because uh, the showbiz, showbiz stock is about a uh, prehistoric dinosaur looking bird. Uh, everyone knows that uh, we never reach, uh, we never felt the dinosaur era. Then uh, we will able, we will be able to feel. Uh, that kind of uh, prehistoric dinosaur uh, 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 like showbiz stock. That's all for me. I choose the Ashraf's, uh, Ashraf's first story, showbiz stock. Thank you. <clears throat> thank, thank you, Charil. So, uh, okay. Uh, you guys can hear me. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I, I'm using both uh, of my platform to because my connection very good, very bad. Okay, for my opinion, I choose Ashraf story uh, uh, from Shoe B Stock because uh, uh, from based on the animal group, which is the bird was we know bird was small, right? And then this one is very big and have very intimidating appearance. So. And also from the prehistoric, uh, like prehistoric dinosaur. So I think that's more 
suitable to become a history and also because due to the viral, uh, the, the famous one, infamous story that we know from the internet. So I think this story is good to be documented. Thank you. Uh, yes, Suraya, Sura, yeah, you can write your opinion about uh, about the story. Okay, thank you, Azriel, about your opinion. She choose the show Bill Stock uh, also for the story, documentary story. Uh, do you guys want to add something? Pakro or anyone? I think that would be all since everyone's internet connection tonight is not so good. So I think we can wrap up the video already. I think it's uh, it's already past 20 minutes. So okay. we can end the video. All right. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, we can conclude that the story of me, of mine, that about the uh, showbiz talk is choose okay we got another comment about akmal Akai. she said uh, she uh, he said he also choose uh, the showbiz stock because of uh, its look okay uh, and because of uh, uh, its look about just about the prehistoric prehistory uh, animal okay so i can conclude uh, majority choose the uh, showbiz stock as uh, as the story for the documentary video and i think that's all uh, yes. thank you thank you everyone yes thank you good job you guys thank, thank you. you thank you see you on the next video bye <laughs> bye bye